All right, today we got a very, very special podcast on. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be talking to the legend, world champion, world record holder, Guinness Book of World Records holder. Um, his name is Eric Booker, but we all know him online as Badland Chugs. He has gone through. I mean, the accomplishments he has, we, we we can't even, like, read it all. It's so amazing. I mean, but most legendary, and I'm going to read some of it, but most legendary known as uh, the uh, for Nathan Hot Dogs, he is the three-time, I believe, um, lemonade drinking champion, but he is chug champion. He, he's he's taken down 49 glazed donuts in eight minutes. He's taken down 16 and a half cannolis in six minutes. Uh, two pounds of chocolate candy bars in six minutes. 15 burrito, avail burritos in eight minutes, among many. Um, he's also a rapper as well. Uh, yeah. I, guess, I, I guess that's like, you know, the, the, the man can only do so many things. He juggles so many things. It's unbelievable. But it's I awesome. most came to, to see him. Uh, following the chugging on TikTok as Badland chugs and really watching over and over again the different drinks. That's how I find out about some of these interesting drinks that are out there uh, uh, from him. So without further ado, let's bring on Eric Booker, bat known as Badland Chugs. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, Coach? How's everybody doing? Hey, Derek, what's going there on? There he is. There's the champ. Yeah, what's, what's up, everybody? Oh, man. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate we're, you we're, taking the time, man. God, we're so good. excited to talk to you. Um, it's unbelievable. Like and like I said, I came to, to come came across you on social media, like many many people have. I actually watched watched you because you're so so uh, such a powerful presence on social media, such a huge following. Nathan's has to have your lemonade chugging contest on, so I got to see that as well. <laughs> you know. It, what used to be what used to be the number two thing on their on their radar has really become uh, I would say is side by side now with with the um uh, with, with the hot dog contest which is unbelievable the number of, of Guinness World work, world records you have talk a little bit about like how you came into all this and and how you kind of got into this role and uh, uh, and started doing all these eating contests how you got from where you were at one point all the way to here. Well, basically, the whole thing started in way back in 1997, you know, June 21st, okay? I mean, back then, I used to have a local Nathan's in my town. I live in Long Island. At the time, I was living in Long Beach, New York, and they had, they had like, Nathan's, like, you know, all over, like, New York, you know, saying, like, big ones, like the one, like, like at Surf and Stillwell, right? So our local one was in Oceanside, you know, it was kind of like... A, like a Chuck E. Cheese, Dave and Buster's type yep. of thing where, where they would have the restaurant in front and like a game room in the back. And yeah. so I knew the manager there, right? And because I always used to come there with my kids, play a few games and stuff like that, get a couple of hot dogs. And then I just saw a poster in the window. It was uh, Uncle Sam with a Frank in his hands in the I want you pose, right? Okay. Saying, I want you to enter the Nathan's hot dog qual contest or to qualify for it. And back then it wasn't as big as it is now. So I asked the manager, I was like, hey, how can I get into this? And he said, well, just show up Saturday, June 21st, 12 noon, talk to a man named George Shea. So I did that. And, you know, Mr. Shea was like, oh my God, we got to get you in. So, so, you know, you know, he got me at the table, right? And like my very first contest, there was this one guy, you know, guy similar size as mine. He was just like, oh, you know, I ate 30 Whoppers. So you might as well just, oh, yeah. just, just, just don't just watch. Okay. Watch me do my thing. And I'm like, well, I don't scare too easy. So, you yeah. know, <laughs> and, and then I peeped dude was online before the contest ordering like, you know, a big Sprite and, you know, like a, like a pregame meal. I'm like, who nice. does that in the eating contest, you know? Right. So he he must have, like, the capacity of a woolly mammoth or he's just not too bright. So I'm like, okay, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So when the smoke cleared, um, I won the contest. I ate uh, 17 hot dogs and buns in, in 12 minutes. It was 12 minutes back then. Right. right? And um, for that, I got... You know, there was no money back then with, with, with Nathan's. Back then, you got like a trophy, your name in the paper, and a seat at the finals in Coney Island. And you got 
a year supply of Nathan Dog, right? And I thought a year supply was okay to give you a card. You come in, yeah, 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 like you yeah, limited like, four hey, yeah, yeah. or something like that for the whole yeah. year. They gave me two big boxes, four hundred and eighty links of Nathan's hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so like here, cook, cook them so, yourself, bro. Like here, cook well, yourself. Well, you know, I mean, I kept half. I gave half the family. You right. know, you know, family that, that that I don't hear from all year until hey. all this time is like, yo, the barbecue's here. What's yeah, up with the hot dogs? You oh, come I in. got the hot dogs. <laughs> I'll bring the hot dogs. Exactly. So I did it for the hot dogs initially. <laughs> that's, that's, that's hilarious. That's hot crazy. Dogs. And then you start, and then you start. So, how did the chugging thing become such a big thing? Like, so, because I didn't know that until you, I didn't really realize that, like the lemon, the the lemonade contest was a was a huge part part of Nathan's, and um, and obviously because of your social media presence that you know that highlighted it so much. Um, mm -hmm. but, but talk about like how how did you get into the chugging thing? Like, how was that something that became a thing for you? Well, um, in, in 2012, right, I wanted to start a YouTube channel because I saw like, um, you know, other competitive eaters like like Matt Stoney and Patrick Deep Dish Bertoletti, you know, the current Nathan's champ and a few others were starting their channels. They were getting a little steam, a little momentum. So I said I wanted to try something, but I didn't want to just have like a mukbang channel, you know, yeah. I want to do something a little bit different. Right. And. You know, I you know I, I noticed that I could you you know drink you know things fast, right? And and you know, I mean, I mean, chugging is pretty big. So I said, let me just start Badlands Chugs. Let's see what it's all about, you know. And it's like, you know, the, the channel started slow as all YouTube channels do. You know, saying you it, you know the hardest thing for a YouTuber to do is get your first ten thousand subscribers, right? Yep. Right. And then. And then, you know, I mean, I would just do it. I wasn't consistent, you know what I'm saying? And, but, um, but, it, but it took one eater, right? Carmen Sincati. He's like, he's like a very real, he's an awesome eater, right? He had to like, just like light a fire in my behind. He was just telling me, you know, this is the PG version. Yo, Badlands, if I was you, I would start posting like crazy. He didn't say crazy. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, you're good. Listen, you're good. You know, I, 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 I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to repeat know, and verbatim you know, what he said because okay. you know it's, it, we gotta keep it PG, right? So, <laughs> so, so he I, he was like, I was like, you really think people will watch me? You know, ch chug stuff. Oh man, he's like about five five, and he was he was like really getting ready to beat me up and just be like, you know, come on, what you doing? You gotta do this. You gotta start chugging. You gotta do this. You know, so. So, you know, I, I started posting more consistently, asking the community what they wanted to see. And, 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 and you know, it's just the numbers just kept going up and up. And then, you know, it, uh, it went all the way to like, you know, the silver plaque, which is 100,000 subs. And then, then a million, I got a million in about Damn. maybe like a year, you know, they got the gold plaque. And right, right now where we sit, you know, three and a half million subs, you know, it's just that's incredible. That's yeah, it's, that's it's just incredible. incredible. It, it's just God's favor. You know, I'm it is. I'm, it is. Yeah, it is. I, that I'm is. just a subway conductor from New York. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I eat hot dogs in my spare time. Oh, so, that, so that was your, so originally, obviously, like, you know, you looked at this and you were just like, all right, you know, this is something, you know, cool. Let's see where I can run with it. Right. Cause yeah. obviously like, look, you mentioned you had a family, right. You got kids yeah. and yeah. you obviously had, you know, a full-time job mm -hmm. at that moment, which is, you know, like all of us, right. Like yeah. consistency with our YouTube channels and stuff like that. Like you got to, you got to dedicate, time but at the same time here you are raising a family working doing all this stuff but now you get to that certain number of subscriber subscribers now you can kind of start to branch out and do some things in terms of that um that's just incredible i think it's an incredible story about how all of a sudden like like here you are like you just win a contest and then before you know it now like you have all these people viewing you doing something that you thought was like, Hey, this could be a hobby. Like this is a hobby. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, it, it was, it, it was, you know, basically that, you know, but, um, you, you, you know, uh, you, you know, um, a lot of people tell me that, 
you know, you got to make time for your dream. All right. You know what I'm saying? You just make time for what you want to do. Right. And, you know, like, you know, besides like, you know, take care of your family, going to work and stuff like that. You know, you got to sell a little, little time for, you, you know, fun stuff, you know, say right. not saying family and stuff. And it's not fun because I loved what I do. I was a track worker and worked on and a conductor on the seven train. So that was fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. Listen, that's yeah. That, to me. Look, like I'm old school. I'm a history guy. So like people start talking trains. I get all jazzed up and excited. Oh, like People don't understand. And then like, obviously us being from Jersey, seeing that you're from Queens, from yours, from New York, like uh -huh. that just gives me a different sense of that. How long before people started to like see you in the street and be like, whoa, this is, I know this guy. Right. Was that something that was, that came about as the subscribers went up and through the wall? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, every now and then from being on Nathan's, because I've been doing Nathan's for the past like over 25 years, you know, around Nathan's time, they will see You're the OG me. now. You're yeah, the OG. Yeah, yeah, triple OG. <laughs> 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 and so 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 I would get that around, you know, fourth fourth of July. But now since my YouTube has been blowing up, it's just like, you know, I mean, I mean, people are like Yo, it's Badlands, and then you you know it's it's like it's like I you know I I I, I pass you know a, a a a group of young folks, and they be like, that's him, Tim. Well, who is yeah. that? Yo, 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 yo. Uh, you know, people start looking at the phone and start doing this. Fun. That's gotta be awesome. And that's they're like, great. They're like, is this you? <laughs> You're like, yo, same guy. Like, yeah. The only part I can see, right, is somebody being like, you know, hey, can you chug this quick? It's like, hey, come on, guys. That's happening. You know, like, people, yeah, have bring, people have bring, brung me drinks, right? Hey, I was just in London like like two days ago, right? And, you, you know, I'm, I'm like looking at Big Ben, you know, and I'm just, you know, you know, just chilling out, you know, sitting on this big, there's, there's like a big mushroom in, in front of the hotel I was at, right? And there was this guy, he was jogging, right? Looking like he, Usain Bolt, just jogging. He just <laughs> looks at me and he's like, he's like, hey, Badlands. I'm like, oh, what's going on, right? And then, <laughs> then like one minute later, he comes back. Hey, Uncle, hey, I got to get a picture with you. You know, come on, let's, let's do this, fam. Let's get this picture. I'm like, you know, how crazy is that? You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, that I think that's the maze. The like, uh, there's all the things around social media. I think one of the beauties of it is that um, someone who maybe wasn't ever expecting that to be able to to make something right. like that media uh -huh. their, their a, a part of their business becomes business. And like, uh, me and Derek talk about this all the time because we interview like a lot of football coaches and and a lot of uh, you know athletes and those kind of things. And and um, uh, like a, a year ago, uh, less than a year ago, we were at like, uh, I'd say eight months ago, we had like 50,000 subscribers and now we're at like 830,000. Right. And That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. So we're, we're excited because, you know, we, we, you know, talking to guys like you and, and then doing a lot of shorts and we, and, and, and we figure figured figure it out, like how to really kind of grow the channel and, and, um, uh, but it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you see, it's starting to take off and you get excited by it because you're like, okay, maybe I'm doing something right here. And this is, this is growing it. And, and, um, uh, it really started with us with shorts. And then, then obviously me and Derek doing the, the podcast really started to like one, one hand started to help the other type of thing, yeah. you know, and, um, uh, re really grow it. And it's really interesting because we get to talk to great people like yourself, um, but it, it's, it's, it's really, really exciting. What, what is like, um, so when you kind of, this is my favorite part about what you do, where do you get, do they send these to you, the different drinks that you come up with and how do you, how do you, do you like ask your audience? Cause I think that's what it looks like you're doing. Cause I always, I always see it probably after you asked your audience and then you already decided, right. Uh -huh. But is, how, how does that, how have you done that? Well, basically I, um, I just, you know, go to my local 7-Eleven and see what's there. Then I go to my local Walmart. And once I exhausted all that, you know, I just, I, you got to just ask the people, what do they want? You know, you got to give the right. people what they want. And so I'm like, you you know, I'm I'm like that. What was the movie where the guy said, um, it was Die Hard. He was like, I'm that king who wept silently because he ran out of 
countries to conquer. Like I ran out of drinks yeah. to touch, drinks to chug, right? Right, right, so, right. right. So I'm asking my audience, since it's a, it's a global audience, what do you want to see me do? And then I right. get stuff. I'm, I'm like, why don't you drink Lucasade from the UK? Why don't you drink, um, you know, because like, I live in Queens. <laughs> yes, yes. Why, why don't you drink like, um, you know, like like Pepsi cream soda from Japan? Why don't you drink like, you know, um, thumbs strange. up from India? You know, so it's like I had to like make friends with a lot of like, you know, what I call soda plugs from all right. over the world. Not yet. Right? That's oh. very funny too. Yeah, just, just, just people who just like, you know, have soda shops and sell sodas and, you know, you know, people on eBay, you know, that had they have their stores on eBay and stuff like that. And right. then, you, you know, I, I will buy something that I'll be like, be like, hey, you know, if you have anything else, just let me know. And then, and, and then, you so know. Now I, you've I, basically I, become their product tester in a way. Pretty right? much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, look, listen. listen hey, that's true. That's work, true. Right? That's like, true. You know, so every, every great thing has had to be tested on something. So, you know what? If, if, if one hand can help the other, you know, hey, why not? Right? Like, in reality, yeah. they're looking at it probably from a perspective like, hey, this is basically free marketing for a product that I'm trying to come out with if, or if I've had it like now I can push it more and mm -hmm. now you're talking international like now your audience has expanded like oh he's trying this from here or exactly. hey this is from my country like mm -hmm. let's go like I'm sure that's added to the entire like, the whole thing oh yeah yeah I mean I when, when I was in London I just did like a whole week's worth of London content of London drinks you know like Stuff I've never even heard of, you know, I, and, it's, and it's like, you, you know, and, and I was telling, you know, the people, hey, I'm in London. What you want me to do? What you want me to drink? And everyone was saying, like, from various sodas, various fruit juices to, like, afternoon tea, you know. So, <laughs> you know. I love it. Like, tea You're like, puppets. I better get a piece of cake with this thing, too, here now. Yeah. But, and, I, I, and, I, I love the one with the, uh, the sweet, when you did the Swedish fish. Oh and, yeah. yeah! Oh, that that one was well because uh, my son's eating sweet, Swedish fish before, and he's like, "Is that really a drink?" I said, <laughs> I, I, said "I said we're gonna find out right now if that's real." And he mm -hmm. drank. He goes, and then you said it tastes kind of like Swedish fish. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it does. I mean, I was I was in the mall um, uh, about a couple of months ago, right? And I passed by, um, you know, it's sugar, right? That's where you get it from. Right. And then um, I saw it and I was like, oh, man, I got to get that. And someone grabbed the last of it. And I was just like, well, you can't do that today. Right. But then I noticed that it's, a, it's sugar right next to Nathan's. Right. Oh. Tony Allen. So so so, you, you you know, I have a buddy who was like head of sec one of the head of security at Nathan's. Right. He he like um. He he like manages a store that it's sugar next door. And he was like, come on, Badlands, you, you, you know, let's you know, let's just see, you know, go in there and do what you do. Right. So I saw there was only five there. Right. I'm like, I don't want to just take all five from him. I want everybody else to leave. He, he just took his arm like Shaq and, 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 <laughs> talking and just grabbed the whole the whole lot. <laughs> that, that's unbelievable. And, and one of the other favorites. That's incredible. Is, that's that's and, so cool. It is so cool. I, I, I love when um uh, I don't know if you're friends with him, but I've seen you a couple of times appear on di uh, the guy who does didn't suck. Um, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, Chuck, yeah. Yeah, 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 Chuck is awesome. Yeah, uh, I, I love it when you guys are out there together. Like you guys just have such a good time and you love and he, he does such a great job in in in, mm -hmm. in what he does. It's uh it's so cool. I all of a sudden I'm watching one of his and then I I'm like, oh there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I thought it was phenomenal. You guys are going eating at spots and having a good time. I mean, that's what that's, that's what it's cool. all about, too. Oh, and yes. uh, that's definitely what it's all so about. So I got a so one I got a question. So would you if if you had a choice or like a preference, would you rather like chug or would you rather eat? Um, I mean, I, I would I would chug, you know what I'm saying? I would love to like 
you know, as far as Nathan's out, because, you know, right now the chugging is in its infancy. It, it kind of reminds me of how right. the hot dog and, contest was. It was yep, very and that's cool. what I was going to ask. Obviously, like everybody, when you hear Nathan's eating, you know, hot dog eating contest, everybody like, oh, yeah, right? Like, oh, mm -hmm. I've seen that on TV or I've heard of that. Right. The chugging, I feel like you could be the figurehead of that and bring that to a level where, all right, Hey, Nathan's eat, uh, hot dogs are, at, you know, that contest is at two chuggings at three, you mm -hmm. know, like at what point, what will it take for the chugging to get to where the hot dog eating contest is, I guess, is my question. Well, I, I would say just like, um, I would just follow the blueprint, you know, that George and Rich Shea laid out, to make the um, you know, the hot dog contest big, you know what I'm saying? I would do I'll do the qualifiers, you know what I'm saying? And right. um, you, you, you know, pro probably get, you know, a couple of more sponsors to, you know, so there'd be a little bit of prize money in there and just, you know, I would just follow their blueprint pretty much. But you know, you know, but just promoting it more and just like um, you, you know, you know, if I, if I can get like a few people chugging in their qualifiers, maybe like after the hot dog qualifier, maybe get right. the chugging. Right. You know, a few people be like, okay, uh, all right, you know, you know, instead of a gallon, we'd be like, we have a half gallon of, le of Nathan's lemonade, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, who, whoever wins, you know what I'm saying? You, or, or, or if it goes to like what they don't finish, it goes to the measuring, you know what I'm saying? The person who drank the Got most, it. you know what I'm saying? Within a minute or, you know, we'll go to, go, go to Coney Allen. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah that's really that's just, really cool. I that you we, you've got to be able to sit down with them and talk because I, I think that the way I look at chugging, especially when like you've brought the attention to it, like in an unbelievable and a gra grassroots level, mm -hmm. most importantly, grassroots level. What I think is so interesting about it is that unlike the hot dog eating contest, this is this is a contest chugging that most people have done at some point, right? Most right. people have chugged something, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. you, 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 oh, yeah. you're the, and you're you're the best in the world that, at you it. You know, come on. We, we all saw a lot. Most people went to college. And, we and chugged the beer, college. right? We chugged <laughs> the beer, right? Most you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we've definitely. all been here, bro. We've all had that. <laughs> like, we've that's all right. that's it. on that beer. Like, everybody's got this thing down to a pat. It's oh, just yeah. a matter of what's in that picture. You know what I'm saying? No <laughs> doubt. And, and I think that's what makes – I think Derek's right. That's what makes it so cool, and you know, to say, like, where people can identify with it, right? Uh -huh. And and the fact that, obviously, you're the world's best chugger is one of the things that brings a ton of attention to it. But I think that it's like, yeah, you know, uh, as it continues to grow, like, more and more people will be able to to get involved in it because – they they have some experience with it, right? And mm -hmm. it's probably a lot safer than hot dogs going down people's throats, too, right? Because at least it's a liquid. The worst thing that happens, they throw it right back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do find it interesting, though, like like you said, though, right? Like, people hear the word chug, and immediately, like, to me, like, you think beer. Like, I literally, like, I just feel like that's where a lot of people go. And uh -huh. also, like, I, like Dave said, like, in comparison to, you know, eating the hot dogs, right, or or some type of eating contest, like, for the most part, when you see people trying to throw down food that fast, there's always a drink involved, right? right. Like, whether it be, uh, you know, guys that take the buns and they dunk them in, whatever, and then they're shoving them down, right? Like, mm -hmm. the, the liquid always seems to find a way in there. Why oh, not yeah. just, like, cut out all the bullshit and just <laughs> it right away? Like, you know what I mean? like, 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 what are we doing? Like, let's just let's just cut to the chase. You know what I'm saying? No um, doubt. But like I said, I think it's interesting because it's also one of these things where, you know, it amasses society in itself, right? Like, it doesn't matter what color you are, what religion you are, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, people chug shit. Like, so, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. in a time now where, you know, this country is so, like, off the wall world bonkers, yeah. like, Everybody comes together. You look up on that stage for a Nathan's hot dog eating contest or any of that stuff, and, and there's an array of colors, shapes, sizes, beliefs, no male, doubt. female, whatever you want to work with. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that ultimately, like, brings everyone together in a positive way. Oh, and yeah. I think, like, just the, the promotion of it to grow this with social media, 
all of mm -hmm. those kind of things where, you know, everybody wants to be some type of famous, like, Hey man, like go do these contests. And then to flip the switch a little bit for a business to just say, Hey, I'm hosting a chugging contest on Saturday afternoon. Come on, sign up, come on in. Like now you're promoting something for your business and you're going to get that clientele no matter what, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So I just think overall it could be something that could really kind of like take that next step. Right. And I think you're in the process of doing that. It's why I like the content that you put out is great. I love it. It's Thank phenomenal. You. I just think like, so what, what do you like if you were going to give advice to someone who wanted to get into this, what would you get? What advice would you give them? Well, um, I would say to like, just, um, just, as far as chugging, just start slow, okay? Just start slow. Yeah, don't be going to try and go, 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 go get the full gallon. <laughs> I would just We're say, not promoting that. We're not promoting it. <laughs> I would say, I would say, start slow. You know, start, you don't just put you know, three fifteen on the bar and say I'm going to bench it. Like, you don't do it. We gotta go like lead exactly. up to this thing, man. Exactly. You know, we're not ready for three plates yet. No. 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 Not yet, buddy. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, just just start slow, you know, say start with something non-carbonated. I would say start with water. Water is the elixir yeah. of life. Water is the hardest thing to chug, in my opinion. Really? Right? Because it's, really? Because it's, it, 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 I'm telling you, water is harder than you think. Because it's Damn. it's not soft, it's not softened by like sugar or anything else that's added, you know, to make up whatever drink it is, right? You know, start um, you, you know, just start taking big gulps, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how I started, and start counting your gulps, you know. And it's, it's, see, I, I, I would say it take me about took me about like about six gulps to get to the bottom of this, right? You know, you figure out how many gulps it'll take you to get to a bottom of a of, of a beverage, and then right. and then you, you then you be like, okay, it takes me ten gulps to get to the bottom. All right, you know, maybe I'll get nine or eight gulps. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, unless you're like one of those advanced guys on TikTok that just open their throat and just go, yeah. <laughs> you know. But they had a lot but, of practice in college. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But no, nah, I'm just saying, just, you know, just start slow, count your gulps. All right. And just, you know, you, you, you know, just increase your volume over time. And oh, man. And, and it's just like, listen, you know, watch my channel around like um, around like like springtime, like around April, because that's when the Nathan's qualifiers start up, you know. That's so when you really hit your stride. Right, it's like right, pre-training right. camp for the NFL. Like, hey, <laughs> we're leaving August 1st. Like, we mm -hmm. got to start to cut this window, right? Like, and that's, yeah. Dave, I, I think, right? Like, look at it. Like, like even you're talking, like, you have a contest on this date, right? We're talking chugging. And here's a process of basically training from yep. here to, to, to here. So, mm -hmm. like, even something like this constitutes dedication trusting the process taking like doing the right things you have to do to build up to where you're at to kind of be at your peak when yeah. it needs to happen right so it's just like anything else now i also i have carbonated versus non-carbonated oh. like like yes you all know you take those couple gulps of a soda and that you just feel that that that, that like down there you're oh like, right, i right can't here. imagine right yeah I, I, that's got to be the t a big difference when it comes between carbonated and non-carbonated. Yeah, I, I would say do not start chugging with McDonald's Sprite because that's that's like chugging hydrochloric acid. <laughs> 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 uh, oh. uh, I, I got a video on TikTok, you know, hanging out with Dane Drops, another YouTuber who does food reviews, right? And and um and and we're, we're reviewing like McDonald's new five dollar menu. And, and, you know, I just happen to have my boot with me, right? And, I'm, and you know, every time I see something that's a potential, something that I could do for video, he always like, what you thinking about, bro? You going to do that? Yeah, he knows. <laughs> he knows. He's like, hey, I see the smoke coming out. Like exactly. That's exactly. it. So, so, <laughs> so, so, so I, so I, I know how McDonald's Sprite is so tough. You know, it's, I, I don't right. know what kind of like soda machines they got in McDonald's, but I went to chugging this two, two liters of McDonald's Sprite. Oh my goodness. My throat was, oh, it was like melting, you know? <laughs> wow. That car, that carbonation, man. Very, right. 
very it's it's no joke. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. especially it, it, it's it makes regular Sprite in a bottle seem like water. I mean, it's something else. That that that's Crazy. amazing uh, that that uh you put extra carbonation in. I bet you they do that because they probably are serving up so many drinks during the day they don't want to get to the point where it's no carbonation right. in the drink. Right. That's well, my guess. And if it's coming from like and if it's coming from like a fountain machine, you know what I mean? Right. Like it's sitting in there, so the carbonation's yeah. naturally like leaving, you know, whatever. I right. mean, look, we're not we're not friggin' scientists here. No, we're not. We're speculators only. We're only speculating. Uh, like, hey, Sprite, this. Um, I assume, you know, based on, like you've chugged a, a variety of drinks, correct? Yeah. I've, what would I've, be the hard? I know you said water, but what is what was the hardest drink or is the hardest to kind of get down? Well, let, let me go into the annals of the internet. The internet is a crazy place to have you chugging all types of crazy stuff. I've done, oh my God, I've done apple cider vinegar. I've done oh, fish sauce. Oh shit, man, are you crazy? I, I've done thick water, you know. I've done this thing, right? Um, someone requested a cameo for me. You know, that's something else I do, shout outs and right, stuff. Right. Damn, right? look at you, yeah, shout out, and, happy and, birthday. And, 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 someone, and someone was like, so I was like, you know, you know, for my, my boy for his for, for his birthday would love to see you chug the brine of non peril capers. I'm like, what the heck is that? I don't even know that. And capers are like some little, I think they're like little, like little like 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 mini olives. Yeah, like, you yep. know, yes. like salad or they're pizza. Like, so like, it's like you can barely even see them. Yeah, yeah they yeah, look yeah. super small, right? And then I'm like. What the heck is this? I'm looking up on Google and seeing everything, right? And so, and so, and so, I chug it. I do the video, and it was just the most. I was just. It was so like strong, and oh. <laughs> it was just. I was just like thirty seconds up. <laughs> you know, making the faces and stuff. Oh my it goodness was, gracious! So, so I will put that on a list of like crazy things I've chugged. You know, definitely. The, you know, beans with the bomb hot sauce, that's pretty hard, you know. But, but you know, it's like, you know, the internet, you know, they, they will have you thinking of stuff that you would never think of, you know. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell so, yeah. They're, they, so, they're like, they're thinking like, and that's been like their main thought. And like, you've never even thought about it to be yeah. anything. And they're like, well, can you just like, you know, hey, whatever. whatever. But hey, at least it keeps you on your toes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's all good. <laughs> what, what's your favorite? What has been your favorite drink to the chug? Well, well, maybe what's your favorite drink taste wise? And then what's been your favorite to chug? No, this, that, that's so hard because I've done so many, but it, from the top of my head, I would say, I do like the um, the Pepsi cream soda from Japan. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. You know the um. The now bazooka. is that because they use? Do they? Is that because they use real sugar with their stuff? Yeah, or, yeah. Right? Once you okay. once you leave the U.S., it's all real sugar. Okay. Yeah. Once you Shit, leave the no U.S. No wonder you went international, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that corn syrup. I don't. You know, you get tired yeah. of that real quick. You know. Yeah. But, that, well, yeah. Yeah. You know, once you you know that. And like back home, I would say Mexican Coke because it's it's um it's real sugar. Yeah, I love Coke King Zero, Canada. you know. Oh, I'm yeah. you know, as far as the zero zero sugar stuff, Coke Zero I love. That's like the only thing I would drink on a regular if I was to drink Got soda. It. Um uh let's see. The bazooka bubblegum is good. Bubblegum soda, you know, it's really good. Uh, does that taste like the bazooka gum that it tastes like, like bazooka gum the bazooka yeah. joe back in the day yeah. stuff yeah it's really yeah. good like the only the only thing you could get for a nickel like when i was growing up that was like you know the bazooka joe sit right there i remember yeah. my old man in his old man softball leagues with the giant tub of that shit like yeah. here we go yeah um, I'll, yeah I'll, that's, I'll go. yeah that's uh the flavor like to me like you look there's just the flavors of everything obviously is like a, mm -hmm. an array. do you have a favorite flavor my favorite flavor, I love strawberry. Anything strawberry. That's my flavor right there. Mm. Love strawberry. If it's a good one to go with. If it's if it's if it's strawberry, I'm there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh wow, that that that's that's your favorite flavor as a whole. Yeah, now now you had two drinks to your right to your right right now. What what two drinks do you have right there? 
Oh, I actually just have one. I have like oh, yeah, this wild, Pepsi. I have like a wild cherry Pepsi. You ah, know? okay. You, you know, this is not technically a drink, but <laughs> I've done it before. It's sriracha. Oh, <laughs> oh no, 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 I'm that you know guy. I mean? Like, you're I'll the guy. Any, that's what I'm saying. You were that guy. I am that, that was like, guy. Give yeah. me that shit, bro. Like, I got. Yeah, let me do that. Oh, yeah, come like, on. You were the guy that was like, "Hey, here's a spoonful of cinnamon. Crush it." And it was like, "Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. I've done that." You know what I'm saying? And um, you you know, I'm that guy. It was like, oh, 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 you went to the grocery store. What's in there? You have you bought you 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 um you making some oh. steak tonight? Oh. Let, let me let me chuck that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that's part hold of the appeal too, right? Hold like, on, man. Yeah. Matter of fact, let's make this interesting. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, enough talk. Here we go. Cheers, baby. Bottoms up. Gravy. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Mm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Tastes like the steak I had last night. Yes. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Uh, Look at that. That's what that's it is. phenomenal. I love it. That's, that's amazing. phenomenal. That's amazing. Derek, I, think, I uh, think I should have to try and match that drink in my Snapple iced tea next to see if I can match it. You think you we can do it? That was sick. That was awesome. Um, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll talk with you. Does, does Alrighty? He comes hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. Here hold we on, go. Hold on. All right. It's your boy, Badlands Charles, with Coach Schumann and Derek DePascal, and we're doing yeah, this Yeah, baby, fight. here we go. Three, two, one, enough talk. <sighs> Let's get Ooh. it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right, Dave. Oh, uh -oh. Go up that way. I drink here. I drink. Oh, I drank the regular Snapple. lemon snap Snapple iced tea. Hey, that was uh -huh. good. All good. One carbonated, awesome. one non-carbonated. Nice stuff, job, folks. fellas. Oh, uh, listen. Hey, we can't thank you enough for coming on today. It's oh, been it awesome, awesome, awesome having you. Absolute Appreciate pleasure. Appreciate it, buddy. I, I have someone that wants to say hi. He just came back from camp. Sure. Say hi to me. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? That's my son, Troy. Hey, He's a Troy, huge fan. Troy. Huge fan. Good to see That's you. That's the man right there, Troy. That's the man right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had four touchdowns to yesterday. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Listen, awesome, we, awesome. Uh, Eric, we, yeah, we really appreciate you taking the time and kind of coming on. And, it, you know, we, we do a lot of this stuff, like Coach said. We meet with a lot of people that are, you know, either coaches or, 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 or in some type of, you know, any type of competitive sports or, or any just like just competition in general, mm -hmm. like everything has a process. Everything takes work. You know, you've built something based off of, you know, you found something that you like to do and you really enjoyed your time. And then you pseudo made like a business out of it or found a way to make money doing it. And I think really that's Amazing. you know something that all of our viewers or something, all of our guys should really do. Like it's a lot more fun to be happy doing what you're doing. Yes. You know, the classic line of like, you know, if you find, what you love to do like you'll never work a day in your life and i That's really no feel talk. like look like even you coming from you know like you said like you worked on trains or conductor as a train like you even enjoyed doing that but yeah. that's really kind of like what it's all about. You found a passion for something and you're mm -hmm. just running with it, rolling with it and enjoying life. So you're, you're like, an so inspiration. We appreciate it, man. We you're really an, you're an inspiration. It. Listen are, before, before I let you go before I let you go, tell everybody where we can we can find you. Where you know, Cameo, they can find yep. you. Where they can find you on Love TikTok. Yourself. So, okay. so we. Okay, no doubt. Well, you know, you can find me on YouTube at you know Badlands Chugs, right? I'm on TikTok at the Real Badlands Chugs. You know, I'm on um, Instagram at Badlands Booker, X at Badlands Booker. You know, I got songs on. Um, um, what, what do you call it? Um, all social, you know, all social yeah, media platforms. I need to hear some Spotify, of that. I gotta do my research. You know, I need a playlist. Um, you, you know, if, if if you want, if you want me to give you a, a birthday shout out or advice or anything on cameo with a chug of your choice, 
just booked me on Cameo, okay? Amazing. And I just want to tell everyone, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you do in life, stay hungry and focused. That a boy. Thank you so I appreciate much. it. We appreciate it, man. That was Thank awesome. Thank you so much for coming on. You're truly an right, inspiration. I appreciate, appreciate you, big guy. If we can do anything for you, like let us know. You know what I mean? I absolutely will. Anytime you want me back on, just holler at me. Oh, we'll, we'll have you back on. Oh, absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll find something, buddy. We'll find Definitely. something. Definitely. I'm there. All right. Appreciate have a great you, day. Thanks a lot. All right. Take care, Choke. Enjoy. And God bless. Go get him. God bless Thanks, you. Buddy. Bye bye. That, that was phenomenal. Phenomenal, Yo, phenomenal man. podcast. Wow, yeah, that was great. That thing of gravy, like. That was awesome. That, that was just, so awesome. That was Troy, so awesome. He just chugged gravy, Troy. That, that, gravy, that's incredible. Just, just, I, that was amazing. That was amazing. He's my hero. <laughs> hey, he's my hero, bad, man. Dude. Hey, you hung right there with him. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna bring up that yours wasn't carbonated in his No, blood. mine was not carbonated. Mine Listen, was not carbonated. You still put that thing down pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, guy, he just did that after a thing of gravy. What are we doing? Oh, my goodness. Well, that was another great, great podcast. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll get off the show until – I think we're on tomorrow, I guess, again, yeah, right? we're on tomorrow with um, actually uh, a guy that – a kid I grew up with. Um, he's been a uh, head coach of Wayne Hills High School basketball, Kevin Grimes. Um, highly successful. Been there I, probably about 10 years now. So Perfect. it's going to be cool to interesting to talk to him about, you know, some high school basketball stuff. Awesome. All right. We'll see you tomorrow.